All right, back in the hub world. So, uh, once you capture Sokolov, the guy from the last mission, you're given an option to either sick the rats on him to get him to talk or bribe him. I mean, uh, one's technically high chaos and low chaos. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't affect this playthrough, though. Which one's your achievement? Which one's which? High chaos is killing people, but you don't. The rats won't kill him, it just makes him talk. So oh. you're not ruining So the rats achievement. is technically the high chaos. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm doing is showing the low chaos because it's awesome. Bribing you him? To, you have to go to Pietro. Bribing him is awesome. Yeah. That sounds, yeah. That sounds pretty straightforward. Are you not bribing him with I have to cash? Get, so I have to go over here and find Pietro. Yeah. See what he's doing? Yeah, he's peeping on some... Yep. Chick, I assume. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> so I get to reprimand him. Mm. I can say, uh, I, I prefer you not do that here. And he's like, you can read the lines. Oh, that's small on the screen that we're looking at. Why don't you just tell me? Why don't you just tell me the movie you're I know you're a man of honor and I know you can kill me, so please have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Was the gist of it. But then, once he starts talking away, talk to him again, and he'll tell you about the bribe. Sokolov loves King Street liquor, so you can buy a bottle for a hundred and for the steal of hundred and fifty dollars. So it costs you to be the Leiko, Leikoas, low chaos. Wow! All right, take that from the top again. <laughs> low chaos. There you go. Take a drink. Would you care to purchase it? So, once he unskippable cutscenes you, mm. say you want the brandy. Zero out of ten. Uh, or that five. So upgrade that, um, that blueprint you got in the last level mm -hmm. unlocked. So now you can... Um, buy the boots of the fur. Buy the boots with the fur. Nice. What so, was the rewire tool? Can you use that to that's disarm traps and such? Disarm alarms. Oh. And there's these one things that... I can't think of the name of them off the top of my head, but they basically, if you come in mm, 30 feet of them, they insta-kill you. Whoa. And you can switch them so they insta-kill all the bad guys. So, yeah. See, it's that's all, what he was so looking, you're looking at. So looking at the same thing. Yeah. So, well, look how I had to put this in the walkthrough. Yeah. So you go in, and she's like, I'm about to bathe. And you're like, about to bathe. You hey, are baby, bathing. would you like some company? You can say that. All right. And she what says, she, say? she says, oh, you're pretty hot, but with all the, the rats and the plague and the tyranny, I'm really not that wet right now. Except you're in the fucking hot bath. She's sopping wet. I <laughs> may have uh, changed that the words to my fitting. So I thought I'd throw that in the walkthrough, even nice. though it's pretty much completely... Not even part of the mission. Right. Nice. Well done. Yeah. Not many missions let you... No, that's actually not true. If there was sex, I would definitely not many include games, that. Yeah. Also. Oh, sex minigame, God of War style. Yeah. So, give him his liquor, and he'll tell you what sex you want to know. Sex, quick time event. Mm -hmm. Like, tap X, do a little circle. With the left those stick. were awesome. Those were pretty funny, actually. I, got, I always got a kick out of those. So, this is the real mission... Uh, this is the mission where you got the invitation in the safe from the mission two ago. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, I that said... you don't use. I said I wasn't going to use it. No, but you use it. But I use it. And I'll just wait till we get there, but it really pissed me off. So this way that I'm going... The reason I'm going is the... I think it's the easiest. If you go the other way... There's weepers and rats, and then you can also become a fish, and you can swim into this building. Mm. But I thought this was the easiest way, and there's also a rune on the way. So this was my final decision for the walkthrough, as which way to go. Yeah, okay. So just come down here, this bust looks out like the heart. The fish route. This oh. is well, the heart's underwater, or the rune. Mm. Yeah. That's an easy one to get. It is. So just three on this level. Why don't you use the quick switch? I don't know. <laughs> I should. Okay. Same reason I didn't use hotkeys in StarCraft for the longest time. 
<laughs> that does not make sense <laughs> at all. Okay, the quick switch thing, yeah, it's not that big of a deal because the game pauses when you're swapping yeah. yourself through the wheel. Not using hot keys in StarCraft, <laughs> you know what that leads you to? It, it, it leads constant you to adding lossing. constant losing, constant, lossing. constant losing, and uh, <gasps> you know what it was? All right. So you, oh, do you have something so, important yeah, to say? Once you're over this fence, then you're no longer a threat. Neutral zone. Mm -hmm. So here's the part that really pissed me off. So I. I went out of my way, opened that guy's safe, got the invite to this party. I'm walking up to the party, and she's like, oh, there goes my invitation. And her husband goes, don't pick it up, it might have germs on it. So you can just go pick up a freaking invitation. Oh, So there's free absolutely invitation. no reward for what I thought was a sweet reward. For what we talked about for yeah, a long time. That would have been a sweet reward. This would be yeah. a great way to get into the party. Mm -hmm by doing something two missions ago. That's cool. That's really cool. And right in front of my face. They just put another do, do, one down. Do, do. Here's a free invitation. Yeah, that pissed me off. Mm. I was looking forward to using that, or at least... And she already gave up on trying to find her invitation. Yeah, okay, so when you're in a neutral zone... Are you just picking their pockets? <laughs> yeah, when you're in a neutral zone, you can pick anyone's pocket. This is a very video gamey thing. Mm. That's kind of weird. So Even watch this, uh, yeah. So like this guy's like, hey buddy. Hey buddy, I'm not your buddy guy. Ah, oh, Mr. Bunting, someone just pretended to be you, but we kicked him out. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just open this door. I'm just gonna walk behind him, crouch, and grab his key. <laughs> and uh, keep going. Okay. And he's like, I'm watching you. Video game. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I just ripped that guy off. This woman won't turn around. She keeps wanting to talk to me. I'm like, screw you. <clears throat> That's pretty awesome slash stupid. Yeah. Awesome nasty. The only things you can't do are like, hot if you hurt people or yes. use magic blatantly in front of them, mm -hmm. then they freak out. Mm. So, so this talking to this guy right? is yeah. This reminded me of Assassin's Creed Two or Brotherhood, where you go to that masquerade party mm -hmm. and assassinate the guy. Oh, this man. mission's awesome. I love masquerade parties and games. I'm thinking of not three is not out, and it, no, and it was uh, not Revelations. It was either Two or Brotherhood. No, I'm thinking of a different sort of scene in that's in Revelations. Mm. That's there's a party and there's like and you snuck something. in and you, and you steal these like minstrels costumes mm. I don't know if you got that far into it anyway so you're challenging this guy to a duel I challenge you to it this is a side quest and don't use this gun because this is a no kill run mm. as soon as you like he'll take his gun you take yours you go to your spot switch it for a sleep dart and then you still get to do the side quest without mm. ruining your run Oh, this is a side quest. Yeah, this is optional. Oh. So you have to be facing the wrong way, and then... Yeah, and on the count of three, turn around and shoot him. And you can all... You can... Oh, you said... You talked about this during the premature evaluation. Is this where you could use stop time? Oh, you... I didn't never have, but you... Oh. Could. Didn't... Oh, no, you didn't say that. I'm imagining conversations that I heard on podcasts as something I heard in real life. Um... Giant Bomb said that. I, that's exactly who said that. Uh, they said if you use stop time there, like everybody freaks out. Oh. Okay then. So, uh, but you can't use blink right there. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to like get the spot where it'll let me go up, mm -hmm. and then wait for these guys to not look. Oh. If no one's looking, you can do it. Oh. Uh, okay. So th there's the spot. Mm -hmm. There's the hot spot. And then from here, you could just jump up. So, and then you. Oh, well, this is okay. Oh, I need to this talk guy about. Care I that did, you just like. No, I just jumped up. Me. I just. That was just jumping. Oh. That was not any magic. You are now you're trespassing. Now so, you're this mission's really cool. There's three women who will have the last name Boyle, and you have to find out which one is your target. Boyle? Yeah, so you have to investigate their three rooms mm -hmm. it'll be different every time mm. so you re like you can read their diary to kind of like figure out to get a hint, who it is a clue on this run there's a note next to the diary mm -hmm. on my first one so i got lucky 
first room I tried was the right one. I'm going to go to the other two rooms. Okay. Just in case this isn't... And also the room that has the note Mm -hmm. also has the Sokolov painting. Mm. And that changes based on who gets the note, which is kind of crazy. So... My, first, my second time through, I just thought I knew who the target was, and I thought I could skip everything, and I'm like, what is going on? Mm. It was the woman in the white. What, what's wrong, you mm-hmm. know? And then I realized, oh, this changes every time, mm-hmm. which is really cool. Uh, yeah, there's a secret passage between two of the rooms. So it's a note, like that exact one that you found? That would be in, like relatively that that would be in any of the women's rooms. It's in one of the three, and it's a note every time. It's yeah. not like yeah something different. Because you're like, trying to find like out the poison that she's yeah you're trying to find out which of the three sisters the guy you're trying to kill mm-hmm. is dating, and that note is mm. from him. Mm. So whoever has that note is dating him. Got it. Uh, so I came back to this room because the next room you have to go through the hallway and this room's a lot easier to escape from like that other room across the hall Mm -hmm. is high traffic for guards this room will only have one guard in front of him and he just walks up to the keyhole he doesn't peep into that woman's room i know what's his problem i know what a normal guy (laughs) what a not normal guy have you ever i can't think of any house that I've been in recently besides ever. the one we're in that has keyholes well that have keel like can you really look through the oh, keyholes yeah. really mm-hmm. what are you trying to tell me right now that I tested it <laughs> okay that's weird actually I don't think I did test it you can see light through it oh hmm I haven't you like you tested it no I need to test it <laughs> now you must be able to I think so. I don't think we have like full keyholes. Oh, we have full keyholes. Really? You could see like a inch of light coming through. Oh, that's kind of spooky actually. If all the lights are off and just like the one light is coming through the keyhole. Mm-hmm. And not to <laughs> mention our bedrooms share a door between them. Well, except it's blocked off. Uh, so this is the third bedroom. You may want to come in here just because there's a key to an awesome rune room and a lot of money and a lot of money yeah there's the yeah room of runes you can do a lot more looting than i'm doing oh yeah that slows down the videos though yeah that makes sense so that key uh works in the basement of this house mm-hmm. so right now i could go back what was that a rat tunnel yeah around? i could go back right now and i said this is me thinking right now <laughs> i stopped and like you know what I'm going to have some fun with this guide. I'm going to buy the rad power. Oh, my God. You were just... Oh, wow. I can't believe I called that. Yeah. I'm like, this is, this is a good way to go. No, 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 rat man. So you get an achievement the first time you go in a rat <laughs> hole. <laughs> so you can go... There's two paths. Uh, to the right goes to a secret room that you don't need for the guide. Go mm-hmm. left. That's going to take you back to the main party. What's so, in the secret room? And it looks like your mana's completely out. The ma- uh, it is, because that costs so much oh, but to you're, use that. Oh. And I use it, and then I can continue using it until it's done. Uh, I see. And they don't care that you just pop So that, that lightning wall? Yeah. The secret room, you can turn off that lightning wall if uh, you want it, but okay. it's not necessary. Uh, so for the no-kill run, you have to go to this room that I'm going to. There's mm-hmm. this, like, freaky dude in the back left. He's got a weird mask Mm -hmm. he will take care of your target for you he's in love with her he wants to keep her for himself for the rest of her life my precious yeah well i don't know what the fuck that was it's not it was almost like a predator noise yeah (laughs) (laughs) that weird clicking thing that Mm -hmm. he does dude is that the diablo 3 notepad that is that's awesome I'm a little bit jealous. Actually. <laughs> that you bought the digital version? I bought the digital version because I could use a notepad. I could always use a notepad. Yeah, so... Um, so now what? Once you, told him once to... you read that note mm-hmm. in one of their rooms, she'll become marked. Hello? So you know which girl to talk to. Oh, it's not the woman, the blonde woman or whatever you said it was. She was in the white the in first the white. time I did it. Okay. So there's 
they have three of the same costumes, a white, red, and a black. Mm-hmm. And it's random. Uh, so, this one, this girl was a little tricky. Like, oh she, she, she wants to take you back to her room. Ew. The second girl that I talked to, mm-hmm. she, I tricked her into just going into the cellar, which is where I needed her. So this girl is a little more work. For Ooh. some reason. Because she wants to bang real bad. If you read her journal, yeah. it said, Oh, I'm so horny. I'm going to bang the first guy who talks to me tonight. Okay. And, and then why don't you then bang that, him? After that, I'm going to bang the second guy who talks to me tonight. That's when you put on your fake mustache. So that's what's happening right now. Oh, you're the first guy. I talked to her and now she's taking me back to her room. Or are you the second guy? Do you know if you're the first I, guy or the second I guy? I don't. Or the third guy? Maybe she didn't ran out of ink <laughs> and couldn't write in the rest of her journal. And those quill pens that she like spilled that thing over. Now she's full of ink. <laughs> White ink. <laughs> Get it? Mm, mm-hmm. Semen. They didn't have the pull out <laughs> technique back then. That's they only had the pull out technique. <laughs> oh back yeah, then. that's right. You know. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Technology. Pills are new. <laughs> what about the blink ability? Pills are good. What about the blink ability? I think that's almost like the pull out. <laughs> you just use that and disappear out the window. And I'm done. You can use that for the Houdini. The Houdini? Yeah. What's the Houdini? Which one's the Houdini? Where you switch with your buddy and then you wave at her through the window. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, once she takes, like, I insist on, like, trying to have sex with her. I'm like, so is talk. She, like, I'm hitting egg. I'm like, talk, 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 mm-hmm. talk, talk. She doesn't say anything or do anything. You have to go behind her and oh. put her out. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe that's how she likes it. Maybe it is. <laughs> she likes a little rape fantasy. Uh, you gotta be a little careful on these stairs. I came kind of a little too close to getting caught. Um, Walking off with the unconscious woman? Mm hmm. There's a guard on these stairs. So you probably could have knocked her out like halfway up these stairs the first time. Probably. But I want to try to bang her. But you wanted to try to bang her, of course. (laughs) Guys. Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah. There he is. Yep. (laughs) Now I'm like, okay, let's turn on dark vision so I don't screw this up. Can you choke him out while carrying somebody? I doubt it. I didn't try. So he's going to talk to the hot maids, and you can just, uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Well, big gulps, huh? See you later. Imagine how expensive, how filthy rich you would have to be to make something like that back in the day. Like in medieval times? Yeah, to have, like, a mansion like this. And servants. And servants and everything like that. Yeah. Like, how expensive something like that would be today with all of our modern technology and building techniques? I mean, granted, it wouldn't be made out of stone the way that this is. It wouldn't last for a hundred years. Yeah, it also wouldn't last for, you know, a thousand years. Yeah. Someday she'll learn to appreciate You know, survive World War II bombings. And so, stuff. of course, like, the good path is to get let her be sexually tortured by this guy for the rest of her life instead of just killing her. That's the good path? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You basically this handed her over freak. to the girl with the dragon tattoo antagonist. Well, no, she wanted to get boned out like crazy, right? Not by that guy. <laughs> oh. oh. That's, that's the key to rape right there. A lot of chicks want to get boned out, just not by you. Just not by you. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So here's the room that I was talking about earlier with the key, with the rune. So hit that up. Actually, leaving. So now you have to leave the party. I think it is... Probably the harder part of this level. Getting out? Getting out. Can't you... Because uh, the boat... There's a fish or a rat that... I just edited out me trying to use a fish because oh. there was no fishes to be seen, oh. unfortunately. And these maids don't care? Nope. That you have a knife out? Nope. Can you put the knife away? Yep. Hold X. Does that influence... So, like, when I'm walking out, there's a guard who's like, Hey, put your knife away unless you want to get your ass kicked. 
Oh, so you just put the knife away. Yeah. I think he says it right here. Yeah. Hey, you with the tattoo, put your weapons away. So I'm just headed out the front door. No one knows what happened to Lady Boyle. Yeah, they do. She's getting banged out in her room. <laughs> oh, precisely. Yeah. Awesome little touch. Here's the party guest list, right? Mm -hmm. It lets you sign it as the bad guy. So you can just be like, as you leave, just be like, I was here. I signed it. Look at it. It says Corvo. Corvo Atano. That's me. That's oh. just like a big fuck you to the guy oh, that's whose your, house it is. That's yourself. That's not, my real name. You're not pinning it on someone else. No. Oh, that... Okay, I like both of those. I, you know it would be really cool? Hmm. Similar to how you found the, um, the invitation two missions ago, mm -hmm. and that affects this mission. If you could sign someone else's name... Oh, and they get killed and then, later. And then they get... <laughs> And then they get pinned for the crime of that disappearing woman. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, they disappear later on. That and, like, two cool. more missions. That would be really cool. Like, you have to choose between five different names to sign. Welcome yeah. And, like, if you, you can sign your name, and that gets you a little benefit. Or you can sign this other dude's name. And that, so that like... I was just trying to get out the corner back there. Mm -hmm. I was actually forgot where I was, and this is the corner to exit. Oh, oh a second ago. Um, there's it. a. If you want, there's a bone charm over here. I'm just gonna grab real quick. Uh, it's actually on the other side of that door, so I have to use the other entrance. So, just pop into this door. I don't know. I I just figured I'd get it since I'm right here even though I'm not going to use it. Yeah, you have none equipped this entire time, right? Right. Just because it's not fair. Because they're random. Right. And uh, there it is. There's a little extra money in here, too. So this is the hardest part right here. So you drop down here. You, know, you can land on this vent. And then around the corner here, there's going to be a guard. And he takes a really long time to do his route. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I bought bin time. Just I'm just to like, get just to speed it up. I'm just like, you know what? I'm bored. I don't want to wait for this. And you can see the light in the middle of the path there. Oh, that's the walker, dude. There's a door. Oh, no. In the light in the middle of the path, there's a doorway on your left. Mm -hmm. A pack of rats will come out of there and hurt you. Mm -hmm. And on very hard difficulty, the rats mess you up. So you just want to, that's why. All, that's another reason to use bend time. If you don't use bend time here. Did you upgrade it twice? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. If you don't use it here, you want to blink past that little uh, light that he's standing in. Mm. Because the rats will come out. So bend time two stops time completely so you can walk right in front of people's eyes. And they won't know what happened. Speed of darkness. Yeah, it's like move... 30 feet in zero seconds. Uh. Um, if you just have bend time level one, you can't walk right in front of people's eyes because they like get a glimpse of a ghost kind of thing. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean. And they get on. You know what I mean? And they get on high alert. Kind of like blink. Yeah. It's like you're going at warp speed, but they still saw it. Right. Uh, so the guy who dropped you off in the boat actually moved since the beginning okay so this bridge comes down and then you gotta wait for that tall walker to get out of the way that Paul walker and then once he's Speaking out of the way this, you're on timeout <laughs> on timeout well this is the end of the mission just go to the boat <laughs> I'm done game on that was super stealthy game on I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly.